Hello, this is Tom from Thai Landscaping, and we love to solve drainage problems where you're not allowed to discharge to the street or the water has to be contained on your property. This nice family is having a problem with standing water. Three of their neighbors are higher than them and all their stormwater is coming to this property. The town will not allow any of this water to discharge to the street or even to the front yard. So far, we've completed the core and tap and we are attached to the city infrastructure. We've also tied in the three backyard downspouts and the sump pump discharge. Here's our plan. In this video, we start at the first 20 inch catch basin and we install the rest of the pipe, catch basins and inlets. We will grade and make swales to direct the rain runoff to the new system. We will add a layer of topsoil to get a new lawn established. Then we'll finish with seed, starter fertilizer, and top with straw. There is a playlist of the four videos of this job if you're interested. I hope you enjoy our video and I thank you for watching. Here's just a little update. So we got the basin in the backyard and this pipe leads to the main basin which goes to the street which I keep saying over and over sorry and then we will have another line that goes this way and another line across where that hill goes down they get a lot of water I don't know if you can see from this neighbor over here both these neighbors on this side are higher so, and they have a pool over there too. So all the water comes down and goes right into the lawn and just doesn't drain at all. The neighbor over there has a big water problem too. So here we are at the back of the property and also this neighbor is higher and it comes down and goes through the fence right here and comes right to here. Tom's filling in a trench up there. These will be all inlets to catch any surface water. 
we'll cut them down and put the grates on as soon as we uh, get the final grade in. Oops. Oopsie daisy. You don't say whoopsie daisy, Nick? Tom is just filling this in. There's the main basin. The other line goes that way. This line goes all the way to the back, past Nick. A lot of roots in this yard. They took down a lot of trees. So, like I said, the other one will go straight across and back and over to the other basin in a big triangle shape.
Nick has a day off today, so I have to put the pipe in. I think you, I did okay. You did what it you, all by yourself? Yeah, what do you think? Are you proud of yourself? I am proud of myself. I even learned how to do the saws all Oh my goodness. I'm proud of you too. Mom. Look how nice and straight my line is. Awesome. <laughs> now, I've done this before. Once or twice. Awesome. Now Tom has to just fill in the trench. And then we just have to pick up a few sticks. Yep, so the plumbing is all in. We just got a couple roots to pick up and haul away. And then we can start grading all this. We'll bring in some topsoil, seed, straw, start working our way out. So now we can see the light at the end of the tunnel? Yep, awesome. Alrighty. Tom's getting the brush piles picked up. I think the truck's pretty full. We're gonna go dump this and get a bite to eat. Date, we're back from lunch and Tom is back grading. Just getting the uh, rough grading done, getting all this uh, junk out of here. He's doing double duty since it's Friday and Nick has off on Fridays. Just has two piles left, basically. a pretty full bucket so what Tom's doing right now is making a swale 
the patio is at zero. This dirt right here is plus five, meaning it's five inches above the patio, meaning any rain that comes here just flows right onto the patio. Also, any rain that comes down this hill, which is pretty steep, is just going down and onto the patio. And the patio by the door is minus one and a half inches, meaning it's one and a half inches lower than this part of the patio, which means they get a big puddle by the door. So Tom is making the swale to go over to that inlet. And that inlet is two inches below the patio. So he's gonna take all this and make a big swale and make all the water divert to that inlet. And that inlet goes out to the front yard and in the street under the pavement we made, you know, we uh, tied in. So all the water is going to go out to the street. So I don't know if you can see that, how high that is compared to the patio. And Tom set up the laser to slope down to the uh, catch basin. Tom's working on the swale to get all the water down from that hill to get it over to here. Here's a little update. Tom has the swale put into the hill here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Goes straight down there. It's just rough graded for now because we're gonna get a big storm. We're gonna be bringing in a tandem load of soil. So we can put some nice dirt on top it when we're all done. Our truck with our soils here. Soils here.
show you around at the end of the job. Here's the clean out that goes to the street store that's under the street that we tied into. And uh, let's go back in the back. Everything's all graded. We tied in this downspout. We have diverted the water. If you can see this, it's kind of like a little swale here. And that goes over to the catch basin. I see everything looks nice and flat, except for where we have it diverted into the catch basins on purpose. And over here, we tied in the downspouts. There we go. They go straight out. There is a line of pipes here and there's the inlets. And that also goes to that one basin that's over here. And this is the main one, this is really low. And uh, they can take off the uh, top and any kind of debris or anything like that will go to the bottom and they can clean it out. That will not go into pipes that go to the street. And then we have this line that goes here and those, if you can see, those are our inlets to catch any water. We let the soil a little high because it's uh, kind of fluffy and it's gonna go down. And if you can see this, here's our second basin. And we have the water, so it, from over there, it will go along here and go into there. And we have one more 20 basin in the back because they get a lot of water back here from the neighbor. It's not her fault, it's just that uh, that's the way they built these houses. So that's the last one. And all that water comes through this fence and just settles all in here. And this is uh, always a swamp back here. So we put more pipe and more inlets in here. The leaves are falling already. It's only August. And there's another one. And then we have another line of pipes So it's a big triangle going to the basins. But if you can see everything, it's all graded out. And uh, they're going to be getting a sprinkler system in the next two weeks. So some of this is gonna get messed up. So we did leave a pile of dirt here, just in case anything settles. If not, we'll take it away but we left it here just in case. We're gonna come back and seed as soon as they get their sprinkler system in. So that's a little bit of dirt that we have left over from our tandem load. So pretty much is, that's it. All right, we're back and uh, everything's looking good. We finished up that pile. We just had a little spot in the front in that one trench that was uh, low and uh, so we use up the rest of the topsoil. Tom is spreading the seed right now. And then we'll put the straw down. Finished, seeded and strawed. Now I'm very itchy.
everything came out great and uh, today's Friday Monday and Tuesday we had a lot of rain we had over an, an inch of rain and she just had one little puddle and since we left the dirt here we were able to fill that puddle and everything else she said was amazing <laughs> there's the back basin Done. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it looks like he's sleeping over there. Can't tell with the sunglasses on. <laughs> I know. He's just like, I learned how to sleep standing up. Driving the tractor. I think I'm just leaning up against this. If you do it right, it's. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Hi. You don't have my head, do you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're all finished. And I uh, just want to show you around. Here is the... Uh... Oh, God, all right. What's that called? Clean, clean out? Clean Street out. clean out? All right. Clean. Good thing we're done with this job. Mm -hmm. We've been here for weeks. <laughs> we're saying we can move in, I think. I know. <laughs> she had the best... The guest bedroom all made up for us. <laughs> Testing, testing. Okay. No microphone. Hey. 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 Hey, Nick. Hey. What you doing? Hey. Oh, you're doing hey. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs>